What is up, you guys? It is Shannon Lady Warrior, and it is day 22 of the Warrior Strong, and it is the beginning of a new week. This is week four, so a welcome to week four. I am super proud of you for being here and training with me, and I hope that you have been enjoying these last three weeks of workouts. But as of week four, five, and six, we are gonna be starting a new training style. So we're gonna step away from the giant sets and the supersets, and we're gonna start working with tempos and drop sets. So for today, we have chest, shoulders, and abs. So let me explain what a tempo is. You're going to see more often than not, your tempo um, that you'll be doing is a 3-1-1-0 tempo, okay? So that means you are spending three cent seconds in the eccentric or the elongating of the muscle. Think of the elongating of the muscle, not elongating of your arms, but elongating of the muscle position, okay? Then you're gonna spend one second in that elongated um, phase. Then you're gonna spend one second in the contraction or the concentric where those muscles are contracting, and then you are going to go right back into that eccentric. So let me give you an example for today doing dumbbell chest press, okay? You're here, this is not where the eccentric starts, okay? So you come up, your eccentric starts from here. You're gonna come down, one, two, three, here's that elongating of the muscle. You're pausing in this lengthened position of that muscle, that elongation of the muscle, and then you're gonna power back up with the concentric, that contraction lifting the load for one second, and then you're gonna come right back down into the three second count, okay? So that is what your tempo pace is going to look like. When we do our drop sets, you are going to do, be asked to do three sets of an exercise. The last working set of that exercise is going to be your drop set. So you're going to do your two regular, meaning you're gonna do two, two sets, say doing 10 reps. Then the last set, the third set, is going to be your 10 reps. Then you're going to lighten the weight by two to five pounds, and you're going to do 12 reps, okay? Or the, that rep count may change, so pay attention to the description. But when you do your drop set, you're going to lighten the weight, but you're going to increase the amount of reps that you do, okay? The goal is here is to really take that muscle in those drop sets to failure, all right? So that is tempo and that is drop set. And that is what we are gonna be working with over the next um, three weeks. So weeks four, five, and six. So please make sure that you have your progress trackers with you so you can write down um, the weights that you are using, super, super important. Um, today, make sure that you're paying attention to the time that you put in the work for your ab finisher, okay? Also, super important, as always, please make sure that you're warming up your body, preparing it for the stress that you're about to go put on it. If this is good stress, by the way, <laughs> um, it's a good way to relieve stress, but it's also a good way to put stress on our muscles to build. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Make sure that you have um, your water or whatever it is to drink, a towel if you need it. Um, and then we are gonna get after it today. So hopefully you will enjoy these tempos and these drop sets, just another way to confuse our muscles and start really building that muscle, um, building muscle endurance, building muscle strength. Um, so let's get after it. We're gonna go in, we're gonna kick our trash. We're gonna have a great workout.
All right, you guys, make sure that you are working on those tempos, okay? So going up strong for one, holding for three, count all the way down, and then back up strong. When you're doing your overhead press, just a quick tip, keep your, keep your glutes nice and tight, nice firm foundation in the core. Use that energy here to really get those weights up over your head, and then slowly three count, bring them down. All right, okay, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have your notification bell turned on so you never miss one of these workouts. Let's get back at it, no time to waste. All right, you guys, and that is how it is done. Day 22 is in the books, chest, shoulders, and abs. I hope that you tracked your progress along the way. I hope that you liked this new training style. I would love to hear in the comments if you liked it. Um, it's a really good way to just stress those muscles and, and make them work and really focus on the, the muscles that we are using. It's that time under tension. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, make sure that you are cooling down properly. I've got to say it or I feel like it doesn't happen. So make sure you cool down your, your body. 
Um, just like we warm it up, we've got to cool it down. And then also, it goes without saying, then I'm going to say it, going to talk about your nutrition because if we want to make gains in here in the gym as we're kicking our trash, we've got to pay attention to the other 22, 23 hours that we are not in here and that we are fueling our bodies, getting the recovery that we need um, to allow our bodies to build and repair and just grow and maximize our efforts. So keep at it. If you need any help with nutrition, I'm here. I'm here. Let me know. Um, all right, you guys, we are going to go hit it hard again tomorrow. We're going to do it all over again. I will see you right back here. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have your notification bell turned on so you know when the next workout comes out. All right, you guys, I'll see you right back here tomorrow.